Max Patai on the beat. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is your man, Max Patai, back with another video. This is a quick video, a little tip, a little trick that uh, I've learned. If you haven't been using lock states on your machine MK3 or your micro or your uh, machine plus, you may want to look into using them, especially if you're a live performer. Uh, performing with lock states live, no, they, they can be very, very beneficial to you. But I'm going to talk about the way that I use the lock state. Honestly, one of the things that I hate most <laughs> is arranging beats. I mean, I'll do it, but usually when I'm done with a beat, I'll listen to it over and over. And then it got to a point I've gotten lazy at arranging beats, you know, doing it. I know you're supposed to do it, but I get a little lazy about it. Eventually, I'll do it, but it usually takes me a while to go ahead and arrange them. But if I'm doing like a little TikTok video or Instagram video, I use lock states to do like a quick arrangement. I wouldn't use this as a final arrangement just because there are a lot of limitations to it. Uh, one would be if you have different patterns in a group, you can't switch from pattern to pattern. That's one of the main limitations to it. Uh, if the people at Native Instruments are looking at this, maybe once we move over to uh, software version three, maybe with lock states, we can get it to where you can switch from pattern to pattern. I think that would be pretty cool and would you know, enhance the on the fly arrangement. Another um, limitation is you can't do mute per se, but I will show you how to get around it. And this is what I usually do in order to um, make the quick arrangements. I'm, I utilize the mixer like crazy. So this will be a helpful uh, a little tip, little trick for you, just in case you, you know, you want to do something on TikTok or Instagram and you feel like you got to, um, you feel like you have to arrange the beat, you can just do this on the fly, record, and put it on out. But before I get started, please help me out, help my channel out, support the channel by hitting that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when more videos are arriving, when they're dropping, so that you'll be the first one to see it. Also, follow me on Instagram. I just started my TikTok. Uh, the links are down in the descriptions. Oh, and also I am putting the finishing touches on my uh, next beat tape instrumental album called the Ill Dangerfield Sessions that should be dropping probably sometime um, in the August, beginning of September. It's pretty much done. Uh, just doing a little house cleaning on it and all that good stuff. So, but it will be coming out by then. All right, so I'll be using this beat here that I made today using the new uh, expansion packs, Young Phantom. Yeah, Young Phantom and uh, De Deft Lines. So did these today and gonna show you how I use lock states. So let's take a listen to the beat right quick. I know this is more of a drill pack, but I like, <clears throat> excuse me, but I like taking uh, these instruments and these expansions and doing what I do, which is more boom bap bass, neo soul, somehow so I'm getting into Afrobeat. I like, I mostly don't like using, and I'm, let me not say don't like, but if something is for a drill, I like to take drill and try to make some boom bap out of it. If it's uh, 
if it's a hip hop like Street Swarm, I want to get it and try to make some house music out of it. Just trying to stretch out of what these expansions are, um, not limiting to your, not limiting yourself to what these expansions are for is good to kind of get out there. So, all right. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is after you've made your beat and give it the kind of mix that you want. I got the kind of mix that I want right now. Um, show my mixer up here. I thought I can do that. So yeah, so matter of fact, you could probably see on my on my screen here. So the first thing you want to do once you see you've got your mix the way you want it. Once you've got it the way you want it, you want to go ahead and go to your lock state. Create your first lock state. To make sure that you keep the correct um, the correct mix that you got, you want to hit shift and lock. Because if you just hit lock, it's going to erase your mixing, your the mixing that you made, any pans, it's going to take everything back to zero. So you want to go ahead and hit shift lock. And then once you get here, you created your first lock state once you do that. So you hit update. This is what we got. All right, so you have your first lock state already set. So what you want to do now, go here to mixer. Matter of fact, before you go into mixer, go to the next patch you want to do. Now go to mixer. And whatever you want to do here, whatever you want to take out, you're going to cut down the volume on it. Cut that. to group and I want to cut that down so now this is going to be my intro so you hit shift lock update now what that's going to do you done created a new lock state so this is the original so now you've made uh, basically your intro for your beat next another pad mixer now you want to bring bring this up shift lock update so now we got now let's talk this over So now you've progressed your beat through the lock state. So now let's go ahead and uh, do another one. Go to pad 13. You can go any way you want to. You can go side, you can go diagonal, you can go all over the place, but this is just the way I like doing it. lock update so and this is a real quick this is <clears throat> now this is just a real quick method
All right, so now let's do another one. Let's go to pad number two, mixer. Now this is where I would bring my hook in. Now I know what you're saying. Why am I doing another one while I have this on uh, pad one? Uh, just because, because I usually use pad one as just the start, it's the starting point where it's like, um, this is how I want everything to sound. I can go back and use pad one, but I learned over time that kind of threw me off. It may work for you, but it's just my little quirky thing. <laughs> so do what's what works for you so now shift update all right so Yeah, another thing that this requires is good timing. <laughs> it requires very good timing, but also uh, you just learn to just play around with it. You'll get your timing. And there's also some other good things about uh, lock state. I don't do a lot of live performances. Matter of fact, let me change that. I don't do live performances at all, but just from messing with lock state, you have this morphing thing here this morphing option which basically is like a build up to the next bar the next you know 16 bars or whatever it's a it's a real awesome and powerful tool as far as doing something uh live and 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 everything so um yeah so that's what i got for this and actually if you want to know more about lock states Go check out Red Means Recording. Um, once I started playing around with this, I started looking to see who else did things on uh, Lock State. Um, and Red Means Recording had a awesome tutorial about uh, what all you can do with Lock State. It's, it's very helpful. Um, matter of fact, I'll probably put the link down, down in the description so that you can check it out. It's real cool, very powerful, very helpful, so check that out. Uh, if this video did anything for you, be sure to please support the channel by hitting that like button. Also, be on the, like I said, be on the lookout for the ill danger, <laughs> be on the lookout for the ill danger field sessions. Uh, this is my next beat tape. If you go to Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that, you'll check out all my other albums that I released over the years. So this isn't my first one. I've been doing this for a while, but yeah, this is my first one in probably three years. Um, so yeah, so like I said, work on Lockstack, check it out. It's a very helpful tool. Check out some more videos on my channel. Uh, and till the next video, I will see you all. Peace.